hi so today we are going to learn a very nice effect where we'll have so many birds a herd of birds coming out from maybe a cave or a castle or any kind of background you have for your projects they will come out in a lot of numbers so we'll achieve that effect using the maya particles and instancer so let's get started so for that first you will have to have a model of a bird just make sure one thing that the model should not be very much high poly it should be low poly we have to ensure one thing also that the front part of the object should be facing to positive x direction currently we see that the front of the model is this one and it is facing to z so not z direction it should be facing to positive x so this is the positive x direction so i will place my model so where it should face the positive x so always make sure that you have facing the model to x direction uh, and next you should clean your model for that i will go in the modify and freeze the transformations and i will center the pivot so go in the modify and center pivot and in the last i will delete the history of our our object so we'll go in the edit delete by type and history so like that we will clean up our model next we have to animate our bird so for that i will make a fast simple rig setup for this bird so i will take the join tool and go in the top view and i will show the joints and i will create this join chain for the left wing i assume that you know basics of the rigging so now i have this join chain i will just place roughly the joints according to the geometry so maybe i will have it like this here so i will not go in much detail just roughly i will place the joints on the left wing and now i will mirror this joint for the right wing we will go in the animation menu set skeleton and mirror joint so the same duplicate of the joint chain will be copied for the right right wing and then i will create one more joint in the center of the bird this will be our master joint maybe i will rename it to master joint and now i will make this joint chains child of our master joint so select both the joint chains in the last select your master joint and press p on your keyboard so our joint chain is ready now we will skin our geometry with the joint chain so select your master joint select your geometry and we'll go in the skin bind skin smooth bind in the option box i will just reset everything and we'll bind the skin so now our model is bound with the joints so we'll have this kind of motion in the wings so now we have the rig ready next we will animate our bird so for that i will open up the time slider and the range slider i will select these joints and we'll animate these joints so on the frame one i will set key and i will rotate the joints to move the wings up like this and then we'll come after some frames maybe frame 7 and i will take the wings down and then i will copy the first frame and maybe i will paste it on frame 13 so now if we play we'll have this animation in the wings of our bird maybe i will have some more frames in my time slider and play so you can see that we have animated our bird up to frame 13 only so it will animate up to frame 13 then it will stop i want to have the animation up to infinity for that we'll go in the animation editors and there we have graph editor so we'll come in the graph editor these are all the joints we have animated for the wing so i will select all of them we'll go in the curves menu post infinity and i will say cycle so it will repeat the same graph again and again up to infinity so our bird will not stop it will be animated forever so now you can see it is animated up to infinity 
and one thing also make sure when you are working on dynamics is it's always best to have your playback speed to play every frame so make sure that you have play every frame selected so now we have this animation in our bird maybe i'll just hide the joints so now we get this animation in our bird so our bird is ready to be animated in a herd so now our bird is ready to be created with the particles so for that let's start making our dynamics so first i will go in the dynamics menu set in the particles i will say create emitter in the option box i will create a volume emitter just create so our volume em emitter is created and let's play what do we have so our volume emitter is shooting the particles in all the directions first i want that the emitter should shoot the particles upside and then the all the particles should be thrown in all the directions in 3d space so for that i will come down in the channel editor and i have the value along axis along axis is the attribute which will throw our particles upside so i will give you the value maybe 10 we'll go on frame 1 and play so now you can see our particles are being thrown by the emitter in the y direction so i want that particles should be thrown upside then they will have rotations also so we'll stop our animation we we'll select the particles and in the field we'll apply vortex field vortex field is like a twister let's see what happens i will go on the frame 1 and we'll play so right now nothing special is happening so currently we have attenuation in our vortex field attenuation is like of decay it will fade away according to distance i do not want any decay so i will just make it zero so now the field will be applied all over the scene it will not fade off so let's go on frame 1 and play again and now we can see our field is applied all over the scene so you are so we are having this twister kind of movement in our particles let's make the copies of our bird so for that i will make instance of our bird which we have animated before so whenever you are going to make instance of the particles it's always better to have your all the objects in a group so i will select the geometry of the bird i will select the joints also and press control g on your keyboard so it will have a group so now our geometry and the joint chain are in the group so now i will make instancer of this group let's move out little bit and i will play some frames and now we'll create the instancer of our group so select your group select your particles we'll go in the particles and there we have instancer replacement click it so now if you see where you had particles now every particle has our geometry also so you can see that all of the particles have been copied into a bird and if i play you can notice that they have animation also like we animated our first bird and now i will animate the emitter this is the rate attribute currently the rate is 100 so our emitter is producing 100 particles every second it is too much high so i will reduce it so maybe on frame 1 i will make the value to 0 so i will select the rate attribute right click and say click key selected so now we'll animate this attribute i will play for some frames and then maybe i'll give the value of 20 in the beginning it will be 0 then slowly it will increase the value on frame 67 it will start producing 20 particles per second then again i will play for some frames it will keep producing 20 particles per second keep again and then again i will move on some frames and i will stop the particles production so in the rate i will again give it zero value it will finish it we have our first bird animated maybe i will just hide it so just select your group and press control h on your keyboard and hide your bird so now if we play let's see so 
in the beginning we'll have less burst and then it will finish off producing the burst and we get this motion in our particles so our emitter is shooting the particles upside then all the particles are being affected by our vortex field so it will have their motion like twister so let's control some more things in our animation so first thing i will show you that our vortex is applied all over the scene i do not want that it should be applied all over the scene so for that i will limit the range of our vortex field so select the vortex field and there we have one attribute named use maximum distance make it on so now we'll have a limit for our vortex field and here we give the distance how much distance you want to apply your force so not negative one maybe i will use 10 so our vortex field will be applied only up to 10 units from the center of the grid so let's play again so we are getting this motion i will increase the magnitude of the field so not 5 i will increase to 50 and now we see our vortex field is throwing the particles it is applied only up to a up to 10 units and it is throwing the particles in all the directions and one thing i will also like to change and that is our conserve attribute so i will select the particles currently the conserve attribute is 100% so the particles are not losing their energy i want that according to time they should lose their energy also so i will have maybe 0.98 so it means that all the particles will conserve their energy 98% only means that will they will lose 2% energy at every frame so now we play so we we can see that because they are losing energy according to time so they will stop after some time because they are losing their energy so now we are getting this motion in our particles let's animate some more things so one thing you might you might notice that our all the bursts are facing to same direction they are all facing to positive x so this is not a natural movement of a bird so we'll control that so for that we'll select our particle go in the attribute editor we'll go in the particle shape node scroll down and there you will find instancer folder so we'll just open it up and here we have so many different attributes to control the movement of your instancer so we'll come down in the rotation options and in the aim direction i will just change it to i will change the aim direction to velocity so as i changed it to velocity now you can see the position of our bird changed and now they are not facing to only x they are facing to all directions so the direction will be calculated according to which direction the particles are going so let's see i will play it again and now you can see our particles are moving facing to different directions so now we are getting some more natural and organic movement in our birds so let's add some more organic movement in our birds so currently the birds are very much relaxed i will give them some turbulence so for that we we'll set our particle and we'll go in the field menu and there i will give them turbulence field so give turbulence so here is our turbulence field you can move it anywhere doesn't matter so again the turbulence field has attenuation means it will fade away according to the distance i will just make it zero so it will be applied all over the scene and now we play so now you can notice that we have noise we have turbulence in the motion of our particles in the motion of our instancer so let's increase the magnitude so maybe i will have it to 30 so 
so now we'll have more noise in our particles and so we so we'll get more organic movement in the burst they will get out from the emitter and they will move according to our fields vortex field will rotate them and turbulence field will have noise in their movement so maybe i will change the frequency it's 100% maybe i will change it to 0.2 we'll have less frequency so we'll get this motion in our particle so just play with the attributes how much you want for your particles so this is the motion we are getting in our bird thanks for watching